Do you know how to get back? Get back safely to the village. Yeah. Awesome. Almost eight years following you. It's been a nice ride. Well, thanks, man. Appreciate that. Carlo? What game are you looking forward to the most is scheduled to release this year? Uh, a combination of Starfield and Baldur's Gate 3. Those, those, I'm, I'm really looking forward to both those games for slightly different reasons, but those, those are my big ones. I'm also stupid looking forward to uh, Armored Core 6 uh, and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth at the end of the year. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to those as well. Beautiful. PUE2 might happen this year. I would be surprised if PUE2 happened this year. I mean, that'd be amazing. I'm, I'm totally behind PUE2, but yeah. Also, Stalker 2 is another big one, but I don't know if Stalker 2 is happening this year. We'll have to see. They still said it's happening this year, but I don't know. Yeah, there might be a PoE2 like beta or something. Didn't the PoE2 teaser look like PoE? No, the PoE2 teaser looked like Diablo 4. <laughs> it it was pretty. Yeah, it was pretty. PoE2 is uh is definitely a lot of a lot of steps up visually. Does PoE2 have an actual release date? No. There's going to be more information at ExileCon, which is happening later this month, I think. Ashes of Creation when? Mm. PoE2 looked exactly like PoE1. I don't think it looked exactly like it. I think it looked I think it looked a little bit better. I mean, especially from like the the shadowing and some of the lighting effects and stuff. I don't I don't think it looked exactly like PoE1. No. Yeah, July 14th for Jagged Alliance 3. <laughs> Aegis, I feel like it, this is the second time in two days you're making broad, general statements of your own opinion. <laughs> I feel like this is becoming a theme, Aegis. <laughs> Where, like, the majority sees something that I don't feel like you're seeing. <laughs> Aegis says, I didn't see a big difference. I, I noticed a pretty big difference. I think it might be because maybe a lot of people saw, like, Diablo 4 recently. So maybe that kind of bridged that gap a little bit. It doesn't look a lot different from Diablo 4, um, but I, I think it looks... The op, POE 1 is a lot flatter, if that makes sense. Um, there's not like a huge amount of shadowing. There's not a huge amount of like actual lighting effects and stuff. So it, it, POE 2, from what I've seen, looks a lot more... I don't know if realistic is the right term, but yeah. Great, it got back safe. D check it out side by side. You know what, you know what, Aegis, do me a favor. Right now, while we're thinking about it, look at them side by side and let me know if you still think the same thing. Like, put them, put them both like right in front of you, playing on the left and right of your monitor. And tell me, if you, tell me if you think the same thing. It went all by itself to the glacial area. Children, whether human or animal, are full of curiosity. I'm glad to see the mom is now at ease. Also, human, you really have a good sense of smell. Well, I didn't actually find it with my nose. Well, anyway, here's something for my gratitude. Ah, cool. Great. Okay, those are still sprouts. QE2 has been in production for a long time, but you know people are going to say it's a D4 ripoff. Well, I mean, they're both. <laughs> PoE, you know, is like a Diablo 2. PoE is kind of like the Diablo 3 that hardcore Diablo 2 fans wanted, and now Diablo 4 has come out, and people say that it looks like PoE, and then PoE 2 is going to... I mean, they're, they're both so similar ARPGs. I mean, somebody who doesn't play ARPGs could look at PoE 2 and Diablo 4 and think they're the same game. And that's, I mean, that's, you know, that's part of being the same genre. So, you know, that's, that's, 
let let people have their fun with that. Whatever. Whatever. Got out of my shell and dived into the game. I found it shallow and fishy until I got hooked and cut to the meat of it. I see now its vast ocean of mechanics, and I love the gems that I have found. Good vibes to all Asgrath with a $10 tip to the mod team. God, so many puns. Uh, thank you for supporting the mod team. Thank you. Any plans on what you're going to play in, in Baldur's Gate 3? We've been getting that question a lot, and here is my plan for that. We're going to make a nice big video for YouTube. And the first thing we're going to do in Baldur's Gate 3 is go over every single class, subclass, and race. We're going to look at them all. We're going to see what they do. We're going to see what makes them special. And then once we've gone over all of that, we're going to decide at the end of that video what we're going to play. So I'm going to make a video where if you want to know what to play, you'll be able to watch it beginning to end and see every option laid out. And uh, then we'll go from there. The only thing I know for sure is that I'm not going to play a class that uses a bow. I, I have made that pledge and I'm going to stick to it because I've done my last couple relatively large CRPG playthroughs have been bow users. So I'm not going to use a bow. Um, but at that, I have no clue what we're going to be. I might be a tank. Uh, I might be a melee DPS. I might be a caster. Think about being a bard. So what we're going to do is we're just going to, again, look through all the classes and see if any of them really catch our eye. What about alignment? Uh, neutral good. I'm gonna be neutral good for my first playthrough and we'll kind of, you know, see where it goes from there. Can you be a pacifist? Wow. I don't think so. Tragic developer. Hi, Co. got this cool idea for a game. What's your opinion on a space game that plays like Everspace 2 where you can build your own base and the gameplay is that you try to raid others' bases? Um, I think that's kind of a combination of in the sounds of it, Everspace 2, which you pegged. And there's a game that recently came out called Meet Your Maker. Uh, it sounds like, I'm guessing it's like a combination of those. Could be fun. I'm not really big into games where you build a base with the intention of other players raiding it. I've just, I've never really found those too engaging myself. Because um, usually it just comes down to like a few meta mechanics and, you know, how to game those properly. And it's not really about creative building. It's more about exploiting metas. That being said, uh, it's a cool idea. And, you know, it'll be fun. I think I know some people love those games. Love them. Love them. Those alignment is also always chaotic, lootful. Not wrong. But to be fair, any class can use bows and crossbows. Yeah, but I think people know what I mean by that. I'm not going to be like a ranger kind of thing. That's 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 the point. The point is that I'm not going to be a. I'm not going to be a class that. Excels at excels and focuses on bow damage. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I take it back. The lighting looks a lot better in PUE 2. Nice volumetrics. The general mesh model quality looks very much the same as PUE 1. So to me at first glance, it did look similar to PUE 1, but I've only seen the announcement trailer PUE 2 at SGF. Yeah, that that honestly, Aegis, then we're in total agreement. Because that's that's what I was saying. The stuff that looks better in PUE 2 is the lighting and the shadows and that kind of stuff. The the general like nuanced graphics, not really the the um the base graphics. So yeah, we're we're pretty much in agreement there. There you go. Appreciate you looking into it. The camera angle does look they swear that the camera angle in PoE2 is the same as PoE1, but I I personally think it looks more zoomed out. I look I think it looks more zoomed out. But they they they've said multiple times that it's the same, but I don't know, man. I don't know. It definitely looks like I'm seeing more in PoE2. Like more, which is great. I've always felt that PoE is like a little, just a little bit more zoomed in for my tastes. So I'm, hey, if they, if they want to gaslight me into thinking it's the same thing, but I feel like I'm seeing more, I'm fine with that, whatever. I think that's cool. Gaslight the hell out of me, grinding gear. We'll take it. <laughs> I don't know what, graphic tomfoolery you did to make me feel this way, but we'll take it. I will enjoy this placebo effect with gusto. Mm -hmm. Lighting can do crazy things. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's just some crazy trick of the light. Mm. So when do you think they'll release PoE 2? Oh, I have no idea. I think we're going to find out more in like less than a month. 
they've got the big exile con going on this year and um kind of sad they invited me out to that but obviously i wouldn't have been able to make it and i'm and i'm i'm sad about that because i think it's going to be really cool i think this year is going to be the year that we get like a, a bunch of poe2 news so we'll see we'll see but as far as a guess i don't have one it all depends on how polished they want it to release because I, I really i don't think it also depends on if they're going to do a beta or not which i don't think they've really talked about at all like i don't know if they're going to do some kind of good show big kind of beta event or maybe maybe at this exile con they're going to bring people like behind closed doors and ask them you know let them play it for a while and ask them what they think about the state of the game and if it's ready to go out and we'll see when is Co leaving his house? Never. Well, I have to go to TwitchCon this year, so I'll be at TwitchCon. TwitchCon Vegas. That's about it. Yep. Oh, they already did that with streamers. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah, maybe maybe we will see it out this year. Maybe they'll surprise us all. No PAX West? Nah. I don't really go to PAXs anymore. At least not right now. I might when the kids are older, but I just got too much going on with the kids and my house and all the random stuff going on here these days. Radizome! Thank you so much for that five bomb, by the way, man. Sorry I missed that earlier. Thank you very much, Radizome. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you. PAX East is amazing for kids. I mean, I've been to PAXs in the past. I, I don't... I don't know what age you would mean by kids. I don't think for small kids. Like, kids my age, I don't think. I've got a 6'4 and almost 2, so... Those things are generally packed. make the weirdest doing sound. I don't know. <laughs> so out of place. I love it. Some of the hitboxes are weird. Yeah, some of them are a little strange. Agreed. Agreed. Is the sail fin down here? No. Looks like he's not down here right now. All right, we'll grab the stuff and get out of here. This music is so dope. It's been stuck in my head for like a week now. I know, right? The music is phenomenal in this game. It's, it's so basic, but it's so catchy. Yeah. What's my favorite game so far of 2023? I don't know. I'd have to really sit down and think about it. There's been a lot of releases this year. A lot that I've really enjoyed. Mm -hmm. I don't really know. Did I finish throwing a ball? No, I haven't even started it, really. Yeah. Radisomes is happy for. Thanks, man. Thank you. Boing, 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 boing. Breath Edge 2 has been announced. It's been announced for a while. Yeah. Can't believe we're already halfway through 2023. Dude, I know. Time flies, man. Time flies when you're having fun. All right, let's get out of here. It's shark time. It's shark week time. Haha, <laughs> Mordecus, love it. Sounds delicious. What's for breakfast? I'm gonna keep all these for now. We gotta go and turn these in. Yep, we need to go turn these in. Okay. Oh, let's go do our fish farms. 
Hey, that's a lot of salt. How's the doubt? Thank you for gifting a sub. Uh, Chasen Bawan, thank you very much for the 14 months, dude. Appreciate you. Hey, chap. ups on these oh yeah theory crafter you can absolutely fix the beluga uh little cutscene now which is awesome you just hold down c mm -hmm. Ooh. here we go i'm gonna sell all those oh we can get some stingrays Get some tuna. Uh, oh. Everything else. Oh, we got some we got some nightfish stuff going on. There we go. Great. Alright, we're good there. What am I playing? Day of the Tentacle Remaster? That's a random question. I like it. Um, I don't know. One day. It'll be fun. Okay, good there. Cove, been very interested. Why do you leave three stars in ponds? Doesn't seem that three stars spawn another three star. Eh, I don't know. I like to think that I'm using the best quality breeding stock, you know? Yeah, I don't, I don't even know. Probably doesn't do anything. Make some money tonight, chat. Make some money, buddy. They do, Hudak, Hudak. Yep. Oh no, what is this? Alex the Fish Fryer. Mm. This is Yui from NDC. Mm. Good to see you again, I'm Vincent Yamaoka. Mm. He's appearing out of nowhere. The pretentious episode, the previous episode of Challenger Chef was as hot as molten lava. It was truly an interesting development. Today's episode, a new challenger appears. This is Alex Cooper. Okay. <laughs> Expected a fancier restaurant than this. Your establishment is humble indeed. Today's theme is Fry the Sea. Okay. I'll give me two days. Oh, what are we going to make? Oh my god, he's got smoke. Work it off. It's an easy one this time. Your fried sea bream or black tiger shrimp will win the day easily. My choice is deep sea fish. They're well-known recipes, and I don't want to replicate the taste. I take the kitchen knife to explore new ingredients and taste it to see the flesh of deep sea fish is unusual is usually soft and gelatinous. I will fry it and harden it to add flavor and texture. Okay. Cookie cutter sharks, vampire squid, and binocular fish. <laughs> you already got it. Boom! Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, move my cam a bit? Sure. There we go. Okay. Max level. Nice. going in for sure.
Sure. What else we got? Tiger Shark. Oh, it's max level two. Beautiful. Okay. Um, I think, yeah, anything else down here is like... Uh, I don't know. got a lot dude this shark week is gonna be nutty this is gonna be nutty we have been working so long on this i'm sad we don't have a single dish though like really coral trout seahorse bobfish yeah we, have, we got nothing no no dishes i wonder if that's normal mayo. We've gotten a lot of soy sauce, thankfully, which is good. This, again, this, this scene should totally be skippable. I don't, I don't know what they were thinking with that, to be honest. Hey, Zelsey, what's up, bud? Yeah, same thing with setting every dish to auto. Yeah, I agree. Right, we're just going to send them out a variety of things. We, we don't really have any, like, super go-to dishes right now, so we're just kind of, like, fleshing out our stuff here. All right, let's make it happen. Bum, 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 bum. Guys wearing little shark. Oh my god, they're all wearing little shark hats. It's amazing. I love it. Look at that plate, bro. Oh no. Oh no! Bro, you didn't get the plate! Nobody there to serve. You know what? We'll take it. That was pretty good. It's pretty good. I was expecting more, but that's pretty good. Our best day. Okay. Uh, it's a shark week, people. Nice. All right, take a load off. Thanks, Greg.
He always jumps in my chair when I'm not in it. And I get so angry. I have to enter the cave with an outflowing current to turn on the second control room. Is there any way to enter the cave? The current may be weaker today. I should go check. Okay. Wonderful Monday. Thanks for your help. We were able to get a special in the magazine. Just keep up the good work. I'll be back on Saturday. Oh, cool. Thousand gold. Hell yeah. Drone. Nice. We are officially maxed on the drone. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Cool. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. going. Haircut looks good. Thank you. I'm actually shaving my head soon, but I appreciate it. I see. Um, um, Vistal, I've not yet finished Final Fantasy 16. I think we're going to go for it tomorrow night. Mm-hmm. So no, tomorrow afternoon, actually, probably. Not tomorrow night. Mm -mm. Dad, I just got my first cat yesterday. Her name is Nico, but she is meowing nonstop for 24 hours. I've done everything that I could, Cofields. Also, 69 nice, one inch man with the 69 months. Um, Interesting. Like, what? Like, does she need to go to the vet? Like, some I mean, some cats are just noisy. She might just be a talker. Um, but yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. Ow. Some cats are just talkers. Ow. I took her yesterday, Coach. She is yapping like you while playing EverQuest. Oh man, you definitely want to take her to the vet. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm, assume, I'm assuming you already went to the vet if she's a brand new cat, right? So she's probably healthy and everything. Um, I'm sure you tried feeding her. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, man. I don't really have, I'm, as, as a non-vet, I don't really have a lot of good advice there, unfortunately. Outside of, you know, take her to someone who knows, does know what they're talking about. Maybe she just really wants to play with you? Mm -hmm. Sticky bomb gun. Let's break it down. Oh, that's, yeah, Grizzly brings up a good point. Like, maybe she got separated from a playmate or something. And she's, you know... Adjusting. Could be. PSN, appreciate it, bud. Yeah, you can try getting some toys and playing with her for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's our big boy.
Mine now. Woo! Those things can be hundreds of years old. Let's kill it and make sushi. I've gotten all green at times in the past and it hasn't been enough to fill the bar, which is super weird. But I, I'm guessing that's what it wants you to do. Makes no sense, right? 